and welcome to Stacey's Secrets. I'm bold. You're bold. I'm not bald. <laughs> I shaved my head. Oh my gosh, why would you do this to beautiful hairs? That's exactly what this video is going to be about today, actually, on why I shaved my head. Beauty tips? Didn't you say that I could do your beautiful tip channel? This is about decision making and I don't know, I thought I could use my life coaching skills to kind of talk you through how to get a good haircut. Oh, beauty tips! Uh, excuse me, who are you? Uh, I'm awkward. <laughs> yes, yes you are. Um, what are you doing here? I just want to be in your video. You can both be in the video. So let's start the video. Okay, now my teeth look all nice and white for beautiful tips channel. Here we go, start the show. So in my last video, I took you to the hair salon and I actually showed you my whole experience of getting my head shaved. A lot of people are saying to me, you're so brave, you're so courageous, I could never do that. I could never do that to my hair. What? Do you think that it would look good on me? Well, you are me, so yes, I think it would suit you. Oh, well, thank you. When you're going to the hair salon, no matter what, you'll always end up looking beautiful. That's not necessarily true. I've had bad haircuts. In order to avoid a bad haircut, look to some celebrities that look like you. Natalie Portman, big brown eyes, kind of small little oval shaped face. You kind of look like Sinead O'Connor. I know that's maybe a bad outdated example, but kind of looks like me. Once you've kind of discovered what you might look like and you have an image in your mind, the next beauty tip I have, the next beautiful tip that I have, the next beauty tip that we have, thank you, is bringing a picture to the stylist. Whenever I go to get my hair cut, I like to bring a picture of celebrities that I want my hair cut like. Okay, yes, very good beautiful tip. That way your hairdresser can understand exactly what you have in your mind instead of just trying to describe it and hoping for the best. Oh yeah, you took this picture in of Jennifer Aniston, and then you took this picture in of Alicia Cuthbert and what the real slim shady for this look I didn't bring in a picture of Eminem for this haircut I actually brought in a picture of yes Jules so yes Jules is a girl on snapchat she has big eyes like me and her body's kind of shaped like me so I had an idea in my head of how I would look with this hair please stand up please stand up please stand up sorry Oh, Stacy, you always are following trends, like those puffy shirts that are off the shoulders right now. Whatever. Sorry. Bringing in a picture is a good idea. But who has blue hair? Keeping in mind, everyone's hair is different, so you also have to look at people who have similar hair to you. For example, I don't look really good with long hair because my hair is really, really thin, so it just kind of looks straggly and there's no volume, so doing this actually is really perfect for my hair. Ladies, if you have thick, long, gorgeous hair, don't do this. Don't do it. Honestly, I found this very liberating. Everyone's so taken back by it. It's such a bold move. It's really boosted my confidence. Great hair can do that for you or no hair can do that for you. I think that it looks really, really good. I wouldn't do it because I really like my hair, but I think it looks really good on you. Thank you. The most liberating part about this whole shaving my head thing has been not caring what other people think. Some people will like it, some people won't. At the end of the day, you're the person who has to live with it. I have never felt so like myself. Like, this is me. This is the package, and I feel great. So I don't really care what you think if you think I look like Eminem. I really don't even care if you super really love it, because I super love it, and this is the me that I'm putting forward. So liberating myself from caring about what other people think has been huge! Sorry, I had to say it like that, because you feel so good! So good! 
I just wanted to join in the fun and yelling. I really, really want to know what is stopping you? What are you not doing because of what other people might think? And I really, I really do want to know. Write in the comments below. I would love to encourage you. I'd love to make a video for you. Send me an email at secretsforstacy at gmail.com. Maybe I can give you a little bit of push forward so you can do what's important to you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I just want to do the awkward part because it's the best part. Very good. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday for you. And remember, it's a secret. Shh. Well, if you feel good and you feel good and I look good, then everybody wins. And I will just say, for the record, it does suit your very small peanut-sized head. It's a secret for you, for you, for me, and for the world! I am practicing singing in Slovenian. My opera voice is good. For the world! No? I, uh, let you, I let you... <laughs> Honestly, it could be. So my la so my letter. Locked and loaded. Who go? Ba 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 ba. I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just the world telling you. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Free! Everybody wins. Oh, I have hair in my eye. It's a secret. Stage is secrets. No, it's Stacy secrets and stage is beautiful tips. Okay, I do again. And remember, it's a secret for you, for you, for me, and for world. That includes you. Don't do it.